Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today I get to share with you a very special preview for a game called Immortals Phoenix Rising. I could not be more excited about this game. I was invited to a digital demo event and let's just say I love the game. I'm in trouble. I could spend the rest of my life in this game. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I really love it. Thank you so much to Ubisoft for giving me this opportunity, for sponsoring this video, and for supporting this little channel right here. So if you're watching right now and you'd like to support in kind, please make sure to stay tuned through the end. But if you're short on time, be sure to click the link in the description below to find out how you can demo the game on Stadia only until October 29th. First, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why I love this game already, and then I get to share a little bit of my playthrough with you, which I am stoked about. The game begins with a difficulty selection screen and then a dramatic prologue cutscene. Your narrators for this adventure are Prometheus, the mythological savior of humanity, gifter of fire, and Zeus, the mythical doer of whatever he wants no matter the cost. If you're a fan of Greek mythology, you are going to love this. There are so many tiny little details and witty references that if you're a Greek lore fanatic, you're gonna understand, you're gonna love, you're gonna laugh, it's amazing. The writer's comfort with Greek mythology is totally clear. What are you doing there, that thing with your voice? Heracles? Yeah, that. That is how it's supposed to be pronounced. Seems like a lot of work, but it's your funeral. After a quick character customization screen, one of my favorite parts of any game, you meet my new best friend, Phoenix. The lowest ranked among them. A shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a skirmish. A teller of tales, not a doer of deeds. Phoenix. She's strong, clever, and loves a good story. I love her already. I mean, come on. A woman after my own heart, right? And she also has this adorable habit of thinking that every amazing Greek item that she comes across is a replica. Looks like the axe of Atalanta must be a copy. This little thing can't contain the wind. That's impossible. A replica of Zeus's lightning bolt? No way! <laughs> she can't even believe the world she's living in. The Golden Isle is filled to the brim with amazing things to explore. There's wildlife, there's collectibles to gather, one of my favorite things, there's mysteries I couldn't yet figure out, and puzzles like this navigation challenge I just stumbled across. What did we open? It looks like a rift, but it's golden. Please be something nice. Oh! She got hit in the face with a coin! Two of them! A we got two! Coin bearing Charon's mark. Also dotted across the landscape are the vaults of Tartaros, puzzle dungeons that you go in, solve the puzzle, and at the end, you get something super cool, one of Zeus's lightning bolts. We did it! Another puzzle down. Mysterious stranger still not found. I personally found the puzzles to be super rewarding, just the right amount of challenging. I had so much fun solving the puzzles in this game. But what I loved is that you could also toggle on and off different levels of hints if you needed a little bit of help. Honestly, best feature right there. In my opinion, this game wins in the small details department. There's so much humor put in every single moment, whether it's the dialogue or an animation. And speaking of animations, they are stunningly beautiful. You feel completely immersed in this fantasy world. It really does feel mythological and fantastical on a level that not a lot of games can accomplish. I can just see how much love went into this game. All these little details just make my heart 
so happy. But my personal favorite, of course, is all of the different ways Phoenix opens a chest. You all know I love to take, take, take all the video game loot, and there is plenty to take, take, take in this game. This game also has classic RPG elements that we know and love, like equipping gear, my personal favorite thing about that is that if you like the bonus from one item, but you like the look of a different item, you can visually customize it however you want. So cool. It also has a simple but very full skill tree that you can use to customize your playstyle however you want. For me, I'm not gonna put any points into parrying. She's no good at it. We all know this but I would love to put my points into range fighting because I like to hit and run. <laughs> Speaking of combat, I personally found it incredibly fun. It's really dynamic and over the top. There are so many options. It rewards your creativity and that's what I love about it. And listen, how cool is it that you get to fight like minotaurs and cyclopses? Cyclops, cyclopi? Cyclopi, that's it, right? Anyways, you can play at your level. If you wanna keep it simple, it's still a ton of fun, but if you want a challenge, there is, listen, plenty to master. Whether it's throwing rocks to stun them or cancel out the rock they're throwing at you, whether you're using your ax attack to knock out their shields. There are so many different ways that you can get creative and fight how you want. Wildly fun. <laughs> you could also choose to sneak in, steal the loot, and then run away. And not fight at all. Not like I would ever do that. I don't have what it takes to fight you right now. So I'm gonna let you all fight amongst yourselves. Flower nectar. I love it. You do that. And I am going to come in here and collect this. And then we're going to run away. Yeah, he killed them. I'm sorry, humans. <laughs> And I can't not talk about mounts here, okay? There was so much love put into making these animals beautiful and making it so peaceful and serene. It just was amazing. Every animation that had to do with mounts, I was here for it. It's exactly the energy I needed in 2020. I just wanna ride around on an enemy all day, every day for the rest of my life. The world is incredibly beautiful and fantastical and the Greek mythology angle just seems to stay fresh and never get old. I really love being in it. Just the ambiance and the atmosphere is, is incredible. It's a really standout thing about this game. And I also feel like I'm never gonna run out of things to do between Hermes heroic tasks and finding all the pieces of Nike, the goddess of victory, and it, the extremely large map, it really feels like I could spend a ton of time here, and trust me, I will. Even if I have to collect every single blue mushroom that is in that game, you know I will. And to really show my point of how amazing this just world and environment is, I wanna share one of my favorite quests that I did with you. This one is actually reenacting the birth of Aphrodite, albeit a more family-friendly version of the myth, which is actually alluded to in the dialogue in a really funny way. So, I am stoked to share with you this portion of my playthrough of the demo. Please enjoy! Here's how to conjure Seafoam from my birthplace. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Grandpappy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl. Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it- That's definitely the story. Okay. I'm sure that's how it went, uh, down. <laughs> it. Knock a pearl into the ocean really hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Well, this is weirder than the time Demeter turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite? Sweet and charitable? No more mischief? 
Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. Okay, we have our mission then. Let's see if we can't get to that pearl. This seems like a shard node, not a pearl. What have we here? Spirit people. Why? What? If we clear them all, does something happen? How strange. Oh, why am I not riding my seed? That's a great question. like a place where I could get a pearl. <laughs> see. Come on, come on. You up then. Come on. <laughs> okay, now you so close to being stunned. There we go. I've gotten so much better at this. away with the other titans, huh? Yes. He was afraid they'd overthrow him. There was a prophecy. Bored. Grandpappy made the right call. Those things are an eyesore. <laughs> Get it? Uh, the birth of Aphrodite is a gruesome tale. Nothing gruesome about it. Grandpappy Uros and my deadbeat dad, Kronos, had a battle so great it severed heaven from Earth. That's not all that was severed. During his surprise attack, Kronos descended on Uranus. When Earth was severed from heaven, there was a great earthquake that knocked a pearl loose from its oyster. Hang on, there was no... <clears throat> the pearl flew from its oyster on land, and Uranus caught it and flung it out to sea with such a force that it caused the frothy foam to bubble. <sighs> We just need to get this to the ocean. But it sure is heavy. Slowly push it or just shove it. There we go. Just just shove it. There you go. We'll run together, Pearl. Almost there. We are so close. Uh oh. Come on. 
Come on, Pearl. Into the ocean. Hmm. Probably not the correct ocean. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just gonna keep, keep strolling along. Huh? I'm gonna get past it. Ah! I'm not gonna make it. Oh no. Alright, you guys are a little bit slower, so maybe I can just ignore you. I mean, it's not going well, per se, but hopefully... No, don't go down! Don't go down! This feels like a godlike activity. It feels like Atlas, you know? Alright, now momentum will carry it the rest of the way. While I heal up a little bit. It, the momentum did not carry it. Oh no! Come on, girl! Down you go! We're so close! Time is of the essence! there. Yup, keep moving. I think, I'm guessing, this has to be opened by defeating them. So I don't know. I think I have to defeat these. But let's see. Oh, oh, maybe I don't even have to. They're going down very quickly, so let me just get them out of the way. Pomegranate. Come back. Let me lock onto you. That's actually very helpful. Love it. Now, gate didn't open, but happened to see something a little like that. Uh, I thought there would just be the two. Is there a secret another one? Where'd you go? I have to light something on fire. Oh, there's the third one. There you are. <gasps> we did it! All right, Pearly. Into the ocean you go. We made great time. I'm very pleased. Time to get some salt water here. Go, Pearl, go. Pearl ya into the ocean. Okay, and we gotta collect some, so here we go. From the All sea right. Home, Aphrodite rose, full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh, yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. And Kronos, they fought. You can't be serious. And that's what <laughs> Fell into the sea. That's... 
because Kronos cut off his... <laughs> <sighs> You're sick, Prometheus! <laughs> Do not talk to me! With the sea foam secure, ah, Phoenix resolved to return to Aphrodite with the key to her freedom and the vault. What did I tell you? It's so good, right? I had so much fun. And listen, what was I doing? Rolling a ball down a hill. But they make sure that each quest is crafted with care and feels urgent and important and godlike. It's so bizarre, but it really, really does feel like you're just a tiny human living in this world of gods and carrying out these tasks that are bigger than you. It has such an amazing feeling and I am so in love with this game. You too can play the demo. Click the link in the description below to do so on Stadia only. And please remember it is a limited time thing. So please make sure you do it before October 29th. So you get the chance to play Immortals Phoenix Rising and fall in love with Phoenix and talk with me about it. Do you want to see me play this game on stream, on YouTube? You have to let me know. Leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please remember to subscribe to this channel, Strange Rebel Gaming, so you don't miss the next video. Thank you, finally, once again, to Ubisoft for giving me the opportunity to get my hands on this game. I loved it so much. Thank you for sponsoring this video and thank you for supporting my channel. It means the world to me. And that's all. I love you all.